Alright, I'm trying to remember where to start. So, uh. Excuse me. Do you know the address of this building? Honestly, I know it's different from this one. They just painted it. I, I really. They just painted it so they took all the numbers off. Okay. That, you know, that guy right there, he's maintenance. He might know. Ask him. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, something like that. He he works here. If uh, the Google told you to turn in here, then that's it. What's wrong with niggas? No, seriously, you hear me? If, if Google told you to turn in here, then one of these is it. Now, it's, okay. They took the one off here too. So it's a crap shoot, basically, you know. But anyway, uh, she asked the wrong question. <laughs> it's like, uh, what that what address is your building? And I would have told her what it was. But they will say, see, no, you're not smart, man. Just just listen to me. Cut it out. All right, so another thing they do that is this fucking crazy because nah, you know, you know, I noticed they little signals. Uh, oh, that's another thing. She pull up playing uh, 90s R&B. All right, so last week, no, it's not a normal thing. Last week when I was at the work at at uh, the other place, there was like that restaurant. All right, so one of the little boys that worked there, you know, I guess he about 20-something. You can tell he from New York. He all on that. Oh, I, oh, oh matter of fact, he said some dumb shit like, uh, oh, because uh, when I say about, uh, no, we're not hateful, bro. Like I said, y'all motherfuckers are evil and crazy. So anyway, yeah, he, he was, I don't know if you can see him peeking over here. So when I was at the other job, uh, the little boy that worked the light skinned dude, he says, you know, because of what I, I, I said, I don't know if I said it, I said it on video. I have hundreds of times. Not a hundred, but I said it a lot of times. And, uh, you know, he, yeah, he's like, I love my, out the blue, I love my brother, you know, like that's gangsta shit. Then he's like, my brother in the military, yeah, that, uh, yeah, I'm doing the little girl voice. You know, like I said, he in his 20s, light-skinned dude, you know. I guess he maybe about, it don't matter his height. It's it's what's on the inside. That's, you know, when we was younger, that's what we was taught, what's on the inside. And you could tell he got hoe on the inside. He's a little hoe. So he's like, uh, he's mad because I said, in my day, you know, once it got, I got old enough that might have been going to prison or anything. I knew not to get in trouble because my family not coming to get me. And they got, a, you know, the, the Democrats, they got a set about that. Now, yeah, I, I would go, I would do anything. No, that's why your brother, a lot of them are dead. You don't go, you, you're an enabler. You going to get them and that's not love, you dummy. That's not love. That's not even tough love. That's, that's stupid. You're fake and you're phony. Like I said, you're like a little girl. You can't you can't take in your little brother. If your little brother getting in trouble, if you love him like you said, older brother, you should be teaching him to not get in trouble. And so he made this statement to me. This was last Tuesday. Like that was uh some kind of real deal. Like, oh I'm oh yeah, man, you a real dude, man. Yeah, you you a tough guy. Oh yeah, you the realest nigga I've ever met. No, bro, that's stupid. Both of you are stupid, but the, his brother in the military, so obviously his, yeah, thankfully his little brother didn't listen to him. You know, he ain't, he ain't stupid. You know, he's like, yeah, I would've go beat his ass. You don't know you're gonna beat the dudes that, you don't know that. The dudes that he's beefing with, how you know you just gonna beat his ass? 
That's I'm telling you, that's the East Coast New York. That's what we why the whole whatever. You ain't gotta believe me. I don't care. That's the only added downside. We don't have that stupid attitude. I don't know about other races. I know about niggas. We don't have that attitude. Back in our day, that's why the violence kind of dissipated by the 90s. Because we're not assuming anybody is a punk. You know, once we get into it, you th- you, 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 your main assumption is this is 100% all the way. This ain't no, oh, I'm going to beat it. You don't know what he might do. You don't know what he got. And it's not because you're scared. That's just stupid. That is literally stupidity. That's why y'all broke. That's why y'all lying about, oh, it's so racist here. Because it, it's stupidity. And you should have known better. That's not gangster. That is nowhere near gangster at all. So anyway, uh, back to why she's playing the music. So later on, everything cool. I'm not mad at that point because they already knew they was going to try to stall me out. So the dude, come, he, 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 you know, he programs his radio. They, they mad about it. I mean, seriously, they, they mad about all types of stupid stuff that if you just have a job or a good paying job or stay at your job, you don't have to be jealous about somebody else about you know, none of this, oh, you think you're better than, no, that means you have low self-esteem. Your parents didn't teach you better. If you think somebody else think that they're better than you, you have a low self-esteem problem. You need counseling. You need help. From a preacher, from, from a medical professional, you need something. If you you walking around thinking everybody think they better than you, Something happened in you probably in your childhood. Maybe in, in grade school, the kids picked on you. They didn't like you. That's your fault, and you got to get over it. So anyway, dudes ask, you want to play, let's play some music. And I, I know workplace, this is a workplace. Even though it's in the back, we're in the kitchen. I know there's a, you know, you can't play what I want to play. Nothing in my, uh, well, a few things. So I said, all right, play some 90s R&B. So the girl, and she looks my age. Well, it's not. She's a little bit young. She's way younger, probably not 30s. She's like, ooh, I don't want to fall in love. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's, it's R&B music and it's work. Normally, if you got a regular job or desk job, you ever walk to somewhere and it's a desk job and it's some females, they play, you know, at least our age group, they playing whatever radio station plays 90 music. Just like, like she just pulled up and she playing SWV. That's what they playing. You're going to pay a bill and the girl at the desk, they got their radio. But instead, she's like, Ugh, I don't, because when I'm sometimes in the house, you know, I'll turn on my stereo and play some 90s music. I'm not, oh, I want to follow. It's just all the spying. That's what I'm saying. You look stupid when you spy on people and you don't know what you're doing. You look stupid. You don't know what the person is thinking. I'm not saying, oh, I'm so in love. I like the music, the beat, the, the arrangement, all that shit. I, I don't know. Maybe I could have been into the music business. I don't know if I would have put something into it. I don't know. You know. But I didn't. I didn't want to that seriously. You know. It's like it, like that girl, she just drove. She She's working for FedEx. I know she did it on purpose because of the little interaction we had last thursday tuesday you know so now she's playing loud 90s r&b we got uh, swv and it's like she by herself working fedex how's she trying to fall in love see the stupid statements they make the statements it, it, this this commune is you're not gaslighting us at this point I'll be honest, you gaslight, it worked, gaslighting worked before, now that we know gaslighting doesn't work, once the people, the, once the, the person that's being gaslit knows what's going on, now you look stupid, at first it was working, now it, you just look stupid, and don't play victim, oh you think you see, see what you, you always know, you started this, you all started this. We didn't start this. We're just finishing it. So don't play victim. You know, take your lumps. Like we all had to learn when we was kids. Take your lumps. Your lumps might be real harsh, though. 
But that's why, like I said, most of us, we learned as kids not to do stupid stuff. Especially not stupid stuff that involves the federal government. You might have thought they had it all figured out, you know, Biden, Democrats, but it looks like the jig is up. And like I said, I would have never, you know, has nothing, you know, uh, they're trying all this. I do. I got to do one video because they, they didn't Fox. They didn't bought Fox too now. But because, you know, I watch them a lot. Trust me, they didn't change. I could tell by the way they, it is not. Oh, all you do is look, like I said, everything I know, I learned from people decades ago. And the reason I watch them is because they echo the same sentiment. Not all of a sudden is this is we heard it years ago as a kid in school from your parents from your friends maybe one of their parents somebody you know my uncle told me this all of that is coming into play so when you try to say oh no you're in an echo no dummy we ain't listening to five we they are we they're saying what we already know that's how we knew cnn was lying not because somebody told us but because somebody told us decades ago not to trust this, not to trust somebody who says that, not to do this and that. So all this jealousy and evil, I still don't get it. What are you getting out of it? The regular people, I know what the higher ups, they're getting, you know, what they want. Well, they thought they was. But what are the regular people getting out of this? But like